Um, the crew was split over whether they had played football or were fans of football or had never seen a football game before, but had simply worked with us on other documentaries. And depending on where your experience was with football was where you landed with Coach Buddy Stevens. If you'd been around football to any degree, you pretty much understood the method to his madness. You knew where he was coming from. If you were not familiar with that culture, you were, you were terrified of him. Yeah. All right, the arc of the show, you start by showing the scene of the brawl that ends their regular season, and then you take us three months back and show us how they got there. And as I watched that, I was fascinated because part of me felt like Buddy Stevens, his profanity, his over-the-top aggressiveness, kind of set the stage and created the environment where that ending was possible but it also showed that those kids were provoked into a brawl that basically ended their chance of defending their national championship. They get disqualified. Do you feel, did, did Buddy Stevens, and he's reflective a little bit in this, but does he take responsibility for the way that season ended? Yes. I think he'd be the first one to tell you that um, mistakes were made. In his defense, you are playing with dynamite in this way. He has built a program some would argue the most successful junior college football program in the history of junior college football. They blow people out. And, and they have, since he got there, he has built a program that they have changed conference rules to, uh, uh, to try and hold back the kinds of scores that he was coming up with, him and his coaching staff. He's built that largely, Jason, on inviting players that not necessarily, they're not good enough to play Division I football, but they have washed out of a Division I football chance, either because of grades or because of discipline off the field problems. So you get enough players like that, and you have a problem in trying to, how do you build a team and sell them on competing as a team, making the kinds of sacrifices you need to make? For instance, you're a defensive lineman. Your job on this play is to absorb one to two blockers. You're not gonna make the tackle or the sack but your linebacker blitzing right beside you is going to. So this piece of film may not help you get the Division I scholarship that you need, but it's gonna help us win this game. It is hard to keep players that are, are there for the sole purpose of, of grasping out. a Division I scholarship to say, you've got to make these kinds of sacrifices, you've got to stay engaged, play in and play out, you've gotta focus on your schoolwork day in and day out, and so, Buddy, I think, uses a number of different tactics, but one of them is just getting in players' faces and umping well, their energy. And, and I mean, you know what football yeah. coaches do, and he is on, that, on the other end of that spectrum. You can go too far, and sometimes the result is what we filmed in season one.